Hi everyone, welcome to the KOps channel. I'm Rafael Lima, and today we're going to keep evolving our CLI. We're going to create one single command that is going to download all repositories that we have without duplicating code. We are going to reuse the same code as we already have. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so, hit the bell to re receive the notifications of my next videos. And I'm also going to be posting the links from my previous one so you can keep it up, right? So what we have here is we have our BB-8 QA Ops and we, we have the, the download alias here already that downloads one alias, right? Now I want to download everything. We're going to use the same command. I could create another command, download all. I could add like a, a parameter called like dash A. If you pass that the dash A, then you're going to validate and you're going to do the download all. I'm going to use one single command for everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure the user understand this. So if, if alias not given, all repositories will be downloaded. Great. And again, we're going to reuse this. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a test uh, option so we can test uh, our evolution and download all repo. I'm going to create a function called download all repo. It needs to be below this function here because I want this function function to call this one, right? If this was above, this function could not see this one. So this needs to be declared uh, before you actually use it, right? So, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the user there is no parameter to, to receive. I'm going to say, you are about to download X, repositories are you sure and i'm going to say yes and no i could say like capital y if the if the person wants to make sure someone hits uh shift but i'm fine here now i'm going to read it i'm going to say read read the response this is a question but i need to read the response and i'm going to say dash r response this is the value of, this is the variable that is going to hold the response. Right, so I can do echo response. And if I do QAOPS test, yes, I have a Y, no, I have no. And why the dash R, right? So if I add something like, and I, and I something, uh backslash it's going to interpret uh it's going to just read the backslash as a value if i don't push put the r and i put a backslash it's going to interpret the backslash so i would have to escape the backslash which i do not want to do this right so the user does not know this so if the user passes a backslash, I won't be able to read it as, as a backslash. Cool. Now I need to check the response, right? I need to check the value. I'm going to say, if response different than Y, then I'm going to send a message. I'm going to say in yellow, it's a warning. And I'm going to say download, cancel. Right? And I'm going to close my if. Right? Cool. So let's see. Yes, nothing happens. None, no, cancel. Right? There is one thing that I need to change this X here, right? So I want to put the number of repositories that we have. So the number of the repositories is, uh, oh, by the way, I'm going to be posting the links for this video here so you can watch and keep it up, right? So 
the value here is going to be ripples. This is our ripples, all our ripples. And now I'm going to say uh, at for everything. However, I want to count. So I put a hash sign here. And now when I send a message, now it's counting all the repository that I have. Cool. However, I need to, this is just a message. This is not doing anything. So let's say echo continue. If I say no, then it's still continuing because I need to exit zero. I need to break it. I need to stop right now. So no, yes, there you go. Right? Cool. This is the same as the error command that we are using. The error command prints a message in red, in red, and then exits. Cool. Now I have passed. Now I want to download. So it's in CN. And it's going to be down, downloading all ripples. Great. Now I need to loop through all my repositories and get a specific value. So I need for ripple in, and I want all my ripples. And as, as I already said, all my ripples is going to be ripples at however this is going to give me this is going to give me the the actual value right this is going to give me the value of the ripple not the the key right so let me show you this echo ripple Right, so if I do now this, yes, I get the actual value. I do not want this value because I want to reuse this code here, right? I want to reuse this code and this code is receiving the key. This code is receiving this and not this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a exclamation mark here in front and instead of the value, I get the key. Now I can just call it. I can say instead of echo, I just go on download ripple and I pass on the ripple and it's going to download. That's what I need, right? Cool. So let's test this out. Uh, let re remove me. Let me remove a couple of stuff. QEOPS and bdb great so let me get out of here i'm going to say qa ops bb qa ops test yes voila i got an error there because permission the other ones are downloading right so if i go to everything downloaded except the shell script Probably these repositories, uh, I, maybe it's a private repository, I'm not sure, I need to check. But the other one downloaded, right? So the code is right. So let me remove everything again. And now we need to glue together with the other part of the code. I need to glue with, uh, I need to glue with this, right? With the download. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to leave it here because I need to show you something. And now what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to say, if the repo exists, right, this is, uh, if the string is valid, uh, uh, it's not empty. Like if this string is not empty, download one repo. Otherwise, download all ripples, right? So let's test it out. I can have the QA ops download docs, downloading docs, right? Docs is here. If I don't pass docs,
it's downloaded everything, but it, it, we got an error. And we also got a few errors saying the, the repository already exists. I'm not going to be validating if the repository exists or not. This Git is doing that for me, so I don't need to worry about it. The user, if the user tries to download, it's going to be pretty straightforward what happened here, right? I can, I can even make it a little bit better. Uh, and I can do like a, a break line. I can do a break line here. So at least there is like a, a small separation. That's good. That's good. Right. So, uh, cool. Why we got this error, line 80? Right. We got this error because this is what this is doing, saying repos docs, right? But in this case, it's empty. I'm not sending anything, right? So I'm just doing download. So this is empty. So it's the same bad substitution, of course. Right. One thing that I could do is validate the repo itself instead of validating the actual value here, if there is this value, I'm just going to validate if the parameter is valid, right? But let's see how that goes. Docs. Docs already exists, so it gave me an error. And now it's asking if I want to download everything. So that's not the functionality that I wanted. Right. It's either one or the other, not both. So the reason why this is happening is because this is not a if else, right? So this is different. I have been using this because I thought that this is fine. This is just opening a file. There is nothing going on here. Just open a new URL, URL. but here this gets a, a little bit more complicated. Why? Because what's happening is it's checking. Does the repo exist? Yes, it does. Then we run this command. If the repo did not exist, you would run this command. However, this command is failing because the repository already exists. So because this command is failing, is executing this one. You don't believe me, right? So let's test this out. So I, I'm going to create a var called test. And I'm going to say if Test MCRD folder. Otherwise, echo this is an O, an R, right? No if here. Cool. If var, not test. If var. Cool. So Kiriops test. He created a folder called folder, right? So let me remove folder and let me have this not existing. So this is an R. So this does not exist. This is empty. Comes here. If this exists, comes here. All right. So let me redo this. We have the folder again. Now it gets tricky because if I try to create the folder again, I get an error. This is an error. So this is going to give me an error. And because this is going to give me an error, it's going to execute this command. See? Gave an error and now it's executing the other command. So this is not an if else. So you need to be uh you need to be you need to be careful of when you're going to use this right so let's do a proper if else great now this is an if else so what this is going to do to me now is if i try to create docs if fail the docs, it's fine. It's not going to try again. And if I just 
start try to delete uh, to download everything everything is going to work everything's fine it's giving an error because everything already exists right so this is basically it so we are using the code the download all is just validating in in looping through everything and reusing the command the, the heavy the actual download part in logic is happening here i don't have to duplicate that part i'm reusing that right so that's it thank you for watching uh if you like it give the thumbs up it's very important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the bell to receive the notifications of my next videos and i'm going to see you on my next video